Hi guys, my name is Pshem, but you can call me Polche. I haven't updated you on the process because I was a little bit busy, but here I am. I'm ready to tell you a few news that I did regarding the game. First of all, I have fixed the tossing animation and the, the interaction with the, with the water surface. So now it catches the surface and the hook is visible. So there's a red box on the surface. So when you toss uh, the rod, uh, the hook goes down into the water and there is a small box. I didn't change the model yet, it's just a red box, but it indicates where you're catching the fish at what spot. Um, additionally, I have added some mechanics regarding uh, catching the actual fish. So now there's a timer between 10 and 30 seconds. If you don't do anything within a specific time limit, it just goes back to normal. And then after the timer goes again, it can, it can start catching the fish again. But if you don't do, it's just gonna be repeating and repeating again. As you can see in the back here, he is actually catching the fish. Okay, so in the game there are two bars. The first bar appears on the screen when you press F button while you are equipped with a fishing rod. And what happens is, until you keep on pressing, the force of the toss will go up and down. So in the moment when you release the F button, the character will toss the rod and it will depend on how high the, the value was, then it will go either far away or very close. So you can control by luck and by your skill uh, how far you are tossing the rod. Then if the fish got caught on the hook, then you can reel in the rod. And this action is done the same way. So you have to press the F button and then you will have another uh, bar that indicates if you are being able to catch it so you have to kind of hook it you have to kind of pull it on time and now for me the limit is if you have 70 or higher percentage of the bar full then you will pull out the fish now the fish is actually just a box but pretty much i can switch it with a animated uh, character or, or model so we have the fish caught now what happens is when you, when you reel in and the fish got caught, you're gonna pull out a box from the water. And in that moment, the box is gonna fall somewhere close to the character, maybe behind him, maybe in front of him, or to the side. Uh, these boxes are items that you can pick. And I worked on a script, so all the items that are lying on the floor now, that are marked as item, uh, are being pulled towards the character with some specific force, so, if you look on the screen, you will be able to see that there, there are items. For example, if I fish three times uh, and there are three fish, so three cubes on the floor. And when I get close to these boxes, the script is being executed and the boxes are being pulled with some specific force towards the character model. Of course, if you move very fast, it's going to make like a whirlpool. So it's quite funny. I don't know if I should fix it or just leave it because it's quite fun. But yeah, it's gonna spin around until it gets close to the character enough and it just disappears and we have the item. Another very important script for my game was mining. I have added a box collider which checks if there is an actual tree in front of the character and if there is a tree, then you will see a new animation and the animation is pretty much based of a particle system that creates a few particles whenever you hit the tree. So when you start chopping, you're gonna see particles flying off the tree. So it's gonna look pleasing in a visual way. It's, it's nothing important. Then um, I have added objects that have a life uh, parameter and if the life parameter gets to zero, so when it dies, it disappears and there is a few objects popping up that you can pick. So these will be either logs or some wooden parts or chunks, or there will be small stones on the floor. I have to switch these small stones. For now, it's just uh, boxes as well. But I have made already a few rock models that I need to input into the game. I have just one example so you can see that when the character gets close to the rock model and starts the animation, 
and if it actually hits the rock, the actual rock with the pickaxe or when the character hits the tree with the axe, then you will see the animation when it's chopped, so there are particles coming out, either up towards the sky or um, towards the character when it comes to the tree. And at the moment when both of these become zero, they disappear and new items pop on the map. So pretty much that's what I worked on until now. It works fine. Now I have to finish a few models in Blender for the trees. So I will make a few pine trees, I think, for this map. And I have to input the rocks. Pretty much these are the things that I have made until now. Now my plan is to actually finish the design of this particular map. So maybe add some more trees, some more rocks that you cannot mine. Maybe add some moving uh, objects, for example, some birds in the sky. And then I think I will have to work on either the water because the water is a still surface now. So either I will add a texture animation onto it or I will have to make a geometry shader that will make the water kind of float. I don't know which one will be the best. I'm not good with shader programming, so I do not know if I will be able to do it fast or not, but pretty much this is my goal. So finish the design of the map so I can actually deliver you a playable demo game. Uh, I mean, at least one map so you can see how it, how it works. Also, I think it will be better for my game if I limit the character movement only to the axes X and Z because Sometimes it's really hard for me even to match the angle of the character to hit with the pickaxe or with the X, the, the specific object like the tree or the rock. So it might be hard. So I will test it and see how it goes, but I think that will be a better solution. Okay, these are the ideas that I have for my future work and for my uh, coming weeks. And I, will, I guess I will focus on them and work hard. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you like and subscribe if you haven't. And write me any comments if you have any questions. And see you in the next video. Bye.